lighter in the kisser. Hey, how the devil are you? Guess what? It's Friday! <laughs> and you know what that means for my regular viewers, you know, okay? We have a little tipple, a little drink on a Friday, okay? This time, this week, I've got a little bit of cider, okay? It's called Black Dragon Cider, and I think it's made in Pontypridd, Lantwit Varda in Pontypridd. Pontypridd, but! Um, literally just, just down the road from me, about two miles away, next town over, uh, home of Tom Jones. No, so wait a minute. <laughs> there you go. No, I don't know him, okay? So don't ask. <laughs> uh, right, let's spark this open and have a little taste, is it? Now, I do like a bit of cider, but this cider is uh, six and a half percent. So I don't recommend drinking too many of these, okay? <laughs> One or two, maybe. God, that's so nice. That is lovely. Now you can see, it's so easy to drink, but very easy to get drunk. So be careful. Anyway, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about cables again. Now, as I've mentioned before, whenever I talk about cables, gets a little bit spicy in the comment section. Um, now I reviewed some mega cables, or if you want to call it mica cables, recently, a few weeks back. And the comment section did get a little bit, it wasn't too bad, you know, it wasn't too bad. It got a little bit spicy here and there, but not too bad, which is cool, okay? Let's keep it all friendly, isn't it? Um, but there's normally three camps. So you've got the one side who insist the only way to get good sound out of your, out of your amplifier and speakers is to buy cable that's £10,000 and it's made by the Magic Elves in Fairyland. Okay. <laughs> and then you've got the other side, the other far side, who say, you don't need to spend that much money, you idiot. Oh my God, just use a piece of string, that's fine. <laughs> and then... And then you've got myself, I would like to think I sit in this camp, somewhere in between, in the middle. I don't like to spend too much money on cables. I think it's, you know, it's no need to. Um, but I do like to get something, you know, that's not just a piece of string, okay? Um, now, in the comments section, there were quite a few comments saying just use lamp cord. I think in North America, you make, some people may call it zip cord, lamp wire, zip wire, whatever, okay? 16 gauge or 18 gauge. Um, now, the only issue with using lamp cord, it's electrical cable, okay? Uh, so it's gonna have some corrosion resistant material on there to stop the, the copper corroding because the, the, the the electrical cable may be put in walls, underground, whatever, okay? Uh, so there's two types. There's copper clad aluminium, which is rubbish, because aluminium is, hasn't, doesn't have good conductivity. And you've got tinned, tinned copper wire. Now, tinned copper wire isn't as good as pure copper, I don't think. It's not as conductive as pure copper, but it's a lot better than copper clad aluminium. So I went online and I thought, what should I buy? Should I buy 16 gauge or 18 gauge? Well, a few people said 18 gauge is absolutely fine. So let's go for 18 gauge. So I got this. Okay, look at that. This cost me £9.50, I think, under a tenner. And that's for 18 feet or five and a half meters. It's black and red, so I can tell which is negative and positive. So that's cool. Um, the only Downside I can see really is that it is quite thin, so it might be difficult to get into a banana plug. Uh, obviously you could cut more of the sheath off and fold it over to make it thicker, then put it into the banana plug. But I think what I'll do is cut, cut quite a bit off, okay? Uh, pop it through the speaker binding post bare wire and then wrap it round to get a really good connection. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's cut it down a little bit, cut it in half. So we've got two sets, okay, and strip down the wire.
subscribe to UTV. Any space subs, Governor? Space some subs for a, a poorly YouTuber? Get a real job. It's all connected up. There's only one thing for it now, isn't there? Sound test. Sound test. A sound test. So I'm going to put it up against that Mika or Mika cable, whatever you want to call it, uh, and, and compare them both and see how they sound. So have a listen to this. What? What? I I couldn't tell the difference. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I really couldn't tell the difference between the two. And what I did, uh, so I connected one with bare wire and connected the mega cable with banana plugs so I could switch them back and forth on my, on my speaker switcher. And even then, leaning in, pff, I couldn't hear a difference. Now I've compared um, mega cable to 12 gauge OFC cable. I've compared the OFC cable to higher end cable, 150 quid's worth, the world's best cables. Um, and they are stunning cables, beautiful to look at, very well crafted. However, I didn't hear much of a difference between the 12 gauge and them. And here I am with 18 gauge flipping lamp cord. <laughs> and it sounds as good. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> what the deuce? <laughs> well, it's definitely swayed my way of thinking. But here's the thing though, right? And, and a few people brought it up in the comments section on the last video about speaker cables, is that if someone can afford a 50,000 pound system or a 100,000 pound system, for them spending a thousand or 2,000 pounds on cable is neither here or there, okay? They can afford it. So I'm not angry at those people. If they want to spend £2,000 on a cable, it's their money, they can do what they want with it, okay? Um, but on the other side of it, if someone wants to use lamp cord, then fill your boots, just, just absolutely fine. The only, the only thing I get a bit irked with, or angry with, or agitated with, is the industry itself. Not the people who buy the cables, it's up to them, but the industry itself where they try and claim that their 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 pound cable is going to sound immeasurably better than a 50 quid cable. And uh, it's a bit unscrupulous, I think. Um, I don't, you know, and how much does that cost to manufacture that cable? I can guarantee the profit margins on those two, 3,000 pound cables is enormous. Um, and they will make these claims that they're you know, amazing, they're going to make your hi-fi system sound great. Uh, now, would I use lamp cord? 
Well, at a, at a push, yes. Okay, if I had nothing else, then it's absolutely fine to use. I proved it. Okay, in my listening test, I couldn't hear a difference. I even chucked on my 12 gauge OFC because I was like, maybe it's the mega cable, mega cable. And st- still couldn't hear a difference. I was like, what? Mine was. <laughs> um, but I do think that if you're going to spend money on a, a very nice amp and speakers, like my system, just my amp and speakers alone are two and a half grand. I know in the hi fi world, that's not considered very expensive. It is to me, though. And I don't know. I, I don't want to spend two or three thousand pounds on a system and put on. Ten pound lamp cord, even though it sounds the same, uh, it doesn't really go with my system. Like the world's best cables, they are eye candy. They, they look the part, and I think that and for one hundred and fifty quid, they're not super expensive, and they're extremely well manufactured, beautifully looking cables, and they really go with any system. So I think that's that's something to consider. Well, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. All of you are saying, try some um, lamp cable, lamp wire, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you were right. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Anyway, that's come to the end of the video and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>